Hi guys, Miss Kelly here. Welcome back to our channel. I wanted to work with you guys today on some kindergarten sight words and some fun ways that we can find sight words. We're gonna be using a hidden message uh, kind of feel for this project. So if you guys can go ahead and grab what you're gonna need, you're gonna need your uh, watercolors, washable paint. We're going to need a white crayon a cup of water for our watercolors and our paintbrush. Don't forget your paintbrush. And I also have a napkin here so that I can dab my paintbrush once I am changing colors and I have to wet it. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna look at a couple of the sight words that my kindergarten saw throughout the year. And they're always fun words to work with. We're gonna be using them in everyday sentences. We can use them to make simple sentences as well. Um, so let's get started. Let's look at the first flashcard that I have up here, the word B, B-E the word like, L-I-K-E, for, F-O-R, this is not the color for, this is the, um, I believe it's a preposition for, how, H-O-W, and the word new. The reason why I chose the word new, I know that it's not a very common word to be using in simple sentences, but I did choose the word new because we did see that EW blend, that ew sound in a lot of our words this year. And I know that my kindergarten definitely got a kick out of the ending here and the uh, using these this ending in different words. So I really wanted to pull that flashcard for you guys today because it is a common uh, blend that we do see, that EW. Okay, guys, so the first thing that you're gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna turn the paper around so that I can see where I am writing. I have set up my sight words so that I can write uh, the first sight word at the top, the second sight word at the bottom, and then when we paint them in, you'll be able to see from top to bottom nice and clear. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna write the first word, which is the word B. I'm going to make my B as we always do, going from the top all the way to the bottom and giving him a nice round belly. Now, because this is a white crayon and we are gonna use a white poster board, we may not see the words as well as if we wrote it obviously with a dark crayon. So I wanna make sure that I am really following each letter, that way we don't mess up and we don't put the wrong um, lines or the wrong letters in there, okay? So I'm gonna start out with the first word, which is the word B. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take my paintbrush, I'm gonna dip it into my water, making sure that paintbrush is nice and wet, kind of drying it off just a little bit. And the first color that I'm gonna take is the color red. I'm mixing my red in here, trying to get a nice, nice, nice color. Remember that we wrote the sight word in a white crayon, so it may not pop out, you may not be able to see it too well on your board, but when we wash it over with this watercolor, it's really gonna pop out. It's gonna kind of be like our hidden message, right? So it's really gonna pop out for us. All right, guys, we're getting this color nice and ready to go. So I'm just going to paint right over it, paint right over that word, and you're gonna see that word come to life. You're gonna see the word come to life. So there we go, that's my first letter, letter B. I'll show you guys once it's over how they dry and how nicely you can actually see the hidden message. I'm gonna change the color here. I'm gonna go into a green just so that we can really see the differences in the letters. And I'm going to paint right over that letter E. Right over that letter E. And there we go, that's our hidden message that's coming to life once again. Super, super, super cool. I'm gonna take a little bit more water just because guys, watercolors, they dry out very quickly if they don't have enough water. So I wanna make sure that I'm getting it, getting the water in there that way um, it can really come out. See, the more that we have, the better it comes out. So this is the first word. The first sight word is B. This is a really fun way for my kindergartners to learn their sight words, learn their different letters, learn how each word blends, because we actually have to take step by step in each letter. So we're going to be able to recognize each letter. Let me turn it around for you guys. Maybe you guys can see it a little better. So here's my sight word B. And right up top, we have the word written in our hidden messages using our watercolors and our white crayon. I'm gonna go straight down to the next word, which is like. And this word we see a lot inside of our uh, reading books, inside of our sight words, uh, activities, our spelling. And once again, I'm gonna take my white crayon and I'm going to match the letters that are on my card, always paying attention. 
where I am putting them. That way I don't lose my spot and we don't lose where we are because I am coloring them in white. So I went ahead and I wrote the word like, and now I'm gonna dip my brush one more time to clean it off, dabbing it on my napkin so that I don't make a mess. And this time I'm going to take a blue color, a blue color, and we're gonna use this blue color for the whole word because there's a lot of letters in there. I can't be mixing too many paints. So let me go ahead and get this blue really nice. We're gonna have to go back into that blue, but once again, I'm using strokes to get that letter out. And here comes our hidden message. Here comes our hidden message. So I already have the L and I have the I. I'm gonna go into, one more time, into my watercolors, pick up some more color, some more paint in there, gliding it through. And here comes our hidden message. Here is our word like, my friends. We have found the word that we wrote like. There we go, let me turn it around so that you guys can see it. So my friends, we started with the word B. We used two different colors so that you could see the two different letters that are in our sight words. Now we went down to the word like where I just used the blue color, but it came out so nicely. You can see that word so nicely from there. Very good job, my friends. And now not only are we learning our sight words, but we're actually creating really fun art with sight words, right guys? Very fun activity. I know that my kindergartners definitely enjoy it, and I hope that you guys can enjoy it at home as well. We can go into the next column. So the next column I have, again, a really common word that we see, and again, it is not the number four. Um, we're using the word for today. So let me turn this around one more time. Again, taking your white crayon, following along to what you're doing. Remember that when you are writing, press down as much as you can without breaking that crayon just to give it a really nice solid color, a nice solid base so that when you go over it with your paintbrush, it doesn't get lost in the color, okay? This time I'm gonna take my color orange after cleaning off my brush and wiping it off. I took a little bit more water just so that we can get um, into that color and the color can come out nice and bright. Taking the color orange, trying to find that word that was written in white, and I'm gonna go right over it, right over it, just like that. And again, we're finding the hidden message inside of the paint using our white crayon and our paint. Let me give that color just a little bit of red to really pop it on out. See if it comes out better like this. Good, so I was able to mix colors and I actually made like a fiery sunset. So once again, something really fun for our kindergartners to make at home, really using your creativity and your different mixtures of colors to find a really good color that's good for you. As you guys can see, my word came out so nicely there. That is the word for, it matches our sight words. You are good to go to the next one. The next word that we have here, my kindergartners used it a lot when making questions, sentences with questions, right? Our little minds are always asking how, how, how. So it's a really good uh, sight word to have, especially in the kindergarten classroom, when you're asking any type of questions like in their science classes, in their observations, in their field trips, so I'm gonna go ahead and write the word how for our sight words, our next hidden message. And remember guys, pressing firmly so that you get a nice uh, base with that crayon. I'm taking off any of the excess that I might see, not losing the word. Guys, this works best on a um, white uh, poster board. I'm using the not shiny part, the part that is flat in color. Um, that way it's a thick enough paper because if you do it with a white paper, um, just like a regular copy paper, it may bleed through and you may make more of a mess than actually getting it, being able to play with your sight words. Another fun thing to do with these sight words once you are done with your uh, project is to cut them out and use them. So if you guys see, my sight words are put on a ring. I made a little hole in them and I put them on a ring and I have them hanging in my classroom for my friends or my students to see whenever they needed a little bit help with their spelling. So I'm taking the color purple for our word how, how, and again, the word how was a, a uh, word, a sight word that we saw multiple times throughout the year, and we used this especially when we were learning how to write 
question sentences, sentences that ask different questions. My, no, my kindergartners were always asking me how things worked and how we could get to an end result. So I really enjoy using the word how as a sight word for them. Let me turn it around. In my purple, our hidden message has come out and it does match our sight word. So you guys are good to go. Remember that once again, once you guys are done with this, don't just throw it away. You guys can use this. Cut out your little squares, cut out your little flashcards and use your sight words to help you study, help you read, help you learn. Okay, my friends, the last word that I'm going to do is the word new. And again, I really like this word, not necessarily because we used the word new so much, but because they had that ending, that blending a few times in this uh, year. So I always like to pull out this word new. That way, not only do we explain how the word is done, but also too, we can have that blending toward the end. I'm gonna take the last color in here that I hadn't used, which is the brown. And I'm gonna go over the word new. And again, guys, I'm using strokes up and down. You guys can go side to side as well. Either way, once the paint hits the white crayon, it's going to create that hidden message. Okay, it's gonna help that hidden message pop out and we're gonna be able to see our different sight words. Okay, my friend, that's the last of it. That is the word new with our EW ending, ew. And this is our sight words project of hidden messages. Make sure that you guys can create um, different projects with these sight words. You can put these sight words into different sentences. We can uh, work with these sight words, learning how to spell them, memorization. There's a bunch of fun things that you can use these sight words for once you have created your sight words with your water paint. Remember to enjoy reading, enjoy putting sentences together. It's the best way that the sentences come out great and our language comes out great. All right, my friends, we are done for today. Uh, thank you for watching. Bye.